Hi guys, last time we have learned on how to draw a bar chart uh, with the simple method. So today I will show you on how to draw a I will going to show you how to draw a pie chart uh, from the code with my SQL and in the screen we will add a year as the filter and we will also add some feature to change the style of the pie chart uh, if you change it then the style of the pie chart will be changed okay uh, let's start to make it first you need to add uh, one form and you can design the form as like this First, you can add a label and drop down T combo box for a year, and you can also add a button to draw a pie chart, and you can use a radio button. You need to add two radio button and one T check box you can put a T string grid to show a data and you can put the T chart to the form and as a user you need to add a fire connection fire query and you can you need to add fire the weight cursor and my SQL driver link okay uh, first you need to change the fire the connection you need to change it uh, to make it similar with your database setting Yeah, in this tutorial I use a sales database and I have two tables over here but in this tutorial we will gonna use this table to draw a pie chart in this table I have uh, so much data over here yeah as you can see on my query if I select the summarize for this year I will get this so much data here is my product and here is the total quantity that I have sell for example let's say if we want to filter it for 2015 the data will be changed for 2014 also yeah the data will be changed and we will gonna show it into a t-chart yeah as you can see if I filter it by year so the pie chart will be changed if we change the style it will go to change also yeah okay uh, After you drop a t-chart to the form, I think you should add this uh, class to the users because in this 
code we will go we will draw a pie chart uh, at the runtime so yeah we will add the series so if you don't uh, add the add this class in the users so you will see a error uh, message over here okay after you finish design the form let's start uh, see the code one by one I will gonna show you from the first part yeah you can add a method to the form create oh sorry an, an even for form create and in this part you can add uh, the code to populate the year into a combo box uh, from this code uh, I will add a year from 2010 until the current year so it will be dynamically populate basically you can also add the year based on the database you can use this query Yeah, actually you can use this query and you can populate uh, this list into your combo box but in this example I will use this code to add the year okay next uh, when we run it uh, by default we should add the style for a 3d so for this radio button I will use radio button one uh, properties uh, check it into true yeah and for the checkbox I will by default I will set it to check it by this code because uh, at the first time the style is 3d and the uh, legion it was so it then we will uh, add two procedure to draw a pie chart and uh, set the grid set the string grid uh, column Yeah, in this procedure I will set the style of the grid uh, I set the column count uh, equal to 2 so count is 2 for fixed calls is 0 and for the first column I will set the column name uh, with the product and the second column for uh, I will set it in uh, for quantity and for the column width I set it into 150 and 120 for the second column in this part I will clear the text every time I redraw the pie chart uh, then I will 
add one procedure to get a subtotal to every time uh, we redraw the pie chart with this procedure I will calculate the summarize of sales quantity uh, depending on the sales year filter and I will group it by sales year this procedure will be call it whenever I draw the pie chart chart I will calculate the total of the sales for uh, let's say for 2016 I will summarize the total of the sales yeah I will gonna add this to I will gonna add this and I will use it for uh, calculate the percentage of the sales I will divide it the each the each sales uh, into the subtotal Yeah, at the first step I will calculate the total first and then I will populate all these lists yeah first I will select the product first And then I will populate this list and after it's populated then I will uh, show how much uh, total that we sell with the code then after I finish populating all data I will draw the pie chart uh, with this code yeah the name of the pie chart is chart 1 and first I will clear the series of the pie chart then I will clear the title yeah in the chart I set the title as a sales dashboard but at the runtime I will change it with sales quantity for the selected year and in this part I I will draw the pie chart based on the setting that you select let's say you you, you select the 3d and I will change the style of the pie chart with this code and if I don't select it or I select flat I will use this code and for the legion oops uh, I 
I will set it whether if you want to show the legion you can use this code and if you want to hide it you can use this code and then we can draw a pie chart with adding a series a pie series with this code we will set the series name with the pie or whatever name you like and for uh, adding the value yeah it, it will depends on this list Yeah, we will populate the value uh, by selecting the value from the string grid list in this part we will calculate the percentage first I will divide the total of the sales with the current product and then after I get the percentage I will add the series with the code and then the for the last code I will change the format of the string grid if I hide this code then the value is not in the currency format so with this code I will change it to a currency format yeah. Okay guys, uh, thanks for thanks for watching my video. Uh, I will try to upload the source code to the uh, on my description of my video, so you can download the source code later. Okay, thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe, comment and keep uh, wait my next video for uh, another tutorial. Okay, uh, have a nice day and bye.